All electrons in an atom experience some amount of nuclear charge. The outermost electrons, or the valence electrons, experience an effective nuclear charge. This helps us explain the variation in sizes in atoms across a particular period. The number of inner electrons, which are called the shielding electrons, in a particular period around an atom uh, remain constant. What changes across the period is the number of valence electrons and the number of protons. The increased number of protons has a greater effect of pulling the additional valence electrons towards the nucleus than those valence electrons have to spread out and increase the size of the atom. The effective nuclear charge can be represented as an equation where the effective nuclear charge is the difference between the number of protons and the number of shielding electrons. Here's a table listing the atoms in period three and their associated effective nuclear charge. As you can see, the calculated effective nuclear charge increases across the period. This trend is generally true for all main group atoms across each period. This figure shows the atomic radii for all main group elements. As you can see, the radii of the atoms decrease across the periods. There are some anomalies, although. The best explanations I could provide are, one, different sources report different numbers based on how they carry out their experiments. The other possibility is electron repulsion because the electrons are so close to one another.